Hi, so um, the project's starting to take shape a little bit and I feel like um, I've got an idea for a kind of uh, simple game that I could set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this player and I'm going to remove it from inside the other player and place it inside the root and then place it somewhere else in the level. And I think what we could do is we could have these two players uh, using different parts of the keyboard as control. So the, the right hand player could use the arrow keys and the left hand player could use WASD to move. And then they can maybe sort of like, they could be little tanks and they could try and aim at each other and fire at each other and um, they can jump. And the the twist, the mechanical twist is the space bar is really big and the space bar is used for both players to jump. But it makes both players jump too, so you can disrupt your opponent's movements uh, by doing that. So they're both going to be using the same movement script. So I'm going to have to do something clever in here to sometimes detect um, uh, what one player is pressing and not when with the other player is pressing a key. Uh, but some of them, some of the bits of code are going to be shared between both players. Things like the jump. Um, so we've got most of the keys already set up because in the movement block we've got key S or key down. I'm going to have to think of what the WA, the arrow key person is going to use for rotation, but that shouldn't be too difficult. The first thing I want to do here is for movement, I want to set up a new if statement and I'll say if this dot entity dot name equals, if you put two equals it says is it this, as opposed to if you put one equal you say I am going to set the name to be this. Um, and another syntax that you might want to know is, I think generally, I don't even know if this works in JavaScript, but exclamation mark equals is not equal to this. Um, anyway, equals equals and then I'm just going to put player one. So if that is true, uh, I need to give these things names. Oh, this one's already called player one. This one needs to be called player two. I don't remember naming that other one player one. Okay, so if it's player one, and then curly brackets, do a bunch of this stuff, and then else do this stuff. And I can fill that in in a minute. So for now, I think I'll just want to take out some of these or statements. If you're player one, your S, okay, yeah, that's fine. And then I think what I'll do here is I'll just comment it all out. If you want to comment out a block of code, uh, you put forward slash star at the start of the code you want to uh, block and then it's star forward slash at the end of the block that you want to comment out. So I can go and clean this up really quickly. And you see I pasted it between those two um, forward slashes so it's all commented out. All of this stuff is going to be commented out and won't break my code when I compile. There's something else that I think would be really useful to show everyone, which is um, how to add uh, debug information into your script so you can debug it whilst you're playing. Um, so I could do that here. I could say, I should have done that to start with, to be fair. You say console.log and then you can just write some text. You say, I'm player one. Oh, no, you, you can't use, um, you can't use certain parts of it, you can't use certain syntaxes inside, you can't put like an apostrophe after the I, uh, because then it sort of like thinks that the only bit of text that you want to say is I, and then the rest will be read as code. And then we can put a console log at the bottom, else, 
and player two. And then if I play, it should probably uh, spam I'm player one and player two at the same time. Oh, we've got a we've got a bug. Let's go find out what that is. And we've got three parentheses, so get rid of that. Hopefully that's the only thing. Okay, so now when you're in this window, if you're using something like Chrome, you can press F12, and you can see I'm player one, I'm player two, all over the place. So to double check, I'm just going to disable the script on player two, and now we should just get I'm player one. I'm player one, spamming, and then if I swap over and just disable player one, I should get I'm player two. Play to. Okay, so that's all working. So now I'm going to. I can get, I can get rid of these comments because that's all working. I might indent this bit of code here so it's a little bit easier to read. And then I'm going to copy this whole block down into my. Um, player 2 block and I'm going to copy oops wrong button copy this into this bit here and do that for all of my movements And then what can they use? They can use delete and page down. That seems to be roughly in the right spot for them. Not great, but let's see if it exists. Underscore delete and underscore page down. That's kind of terrible, but yeah, this isn't really about game design as, as much as it's about. Um, okay, so the the character on the left should move. And now the character on the right should move. Cool. Okay. So we have a little two player and then um, if I press spacebar they should both jump <laughs> and it's a terrible jump that I need to fix but yeah that's uh, how you would sort of we've learned if and else statements and uh, I think that's probably the most important thing that we learned in this little segment but yeah hope that was helpful thanks